using word clouds to determine students' preferences for learning. I am Sherry Kaufman, a faculty member at Nevada State College School of Nursing. The main reason I use word cl clouds is because it helps me build community in my class, whether it's a face-to-face -face class or in the online environment. It's been especially important though during the pandemic when everything is online to help us both students and faculty understand each other's perspectives and expectations. In this presentation, I'll describe the use of word clouds to help clarify these expectations. This presentation describes a class on nutrition and growth and development that occurred in the fall of 2020. This was a new course um, and a new way of doing things uh, because of the online presentation, and we met synchronously on Zoom about two hours a week. Early in the course, I had students answer an anonymous survey in Canvas, and I asked them to write a few words in response to this question. What can we do in this class to maximize learning of all students? I took those responses, reduced them to common words and phrases, and went to Word It Out website so that I could create a word cloud. And you can see the result um, in this slide. I also did a qualitative analysis of the students' comments and how it was pulled together in the word cloud. So I developed a six slide PowerPoint that included analysis of students' responses. And in each slide, I not only summarized students' responses, but also I listed the approaches that I would be using in the course in response to their preferences. I've published two slides from that slide set here for you. So the next two slides are examples of what I presented to the students the following week. The main request students had, had was that we practice exam questions. Like all groups of students, they're very concerned about their exam. And in nursing, we're always concerned about preparing students for their licensing or NCLEX exam. So I wasn't surprised. This is the slide that was in my size slide set. And it, here is what I told the students. The most frequently cited option for learning is to practice exam questions. And then I listed several student comments. For example, one student said they wanted to have practice questions a week before an exam to get us warmed up on how the exam would be. Other students said reviews before exams or sample questions. Since nursing questions are often about application and focus on what the nurse will do, these questions take some practice they certainly are a good way to stimulate critical thinking and to test knowledge. Therefore, in this course, we will practice exam questions at the end of each class so that students can get that kind of practice and interaction. And we'll also make sure they have exam questions in their supplemental instruction sessions, which are held outside of the class time. Study guides. Many students mentioned study guides as an important way to learn. Although students had very different ideas about the nature of the study guides, some wanted comprehensive study guides, others wanted more condensed and focused, shorter study guides. I promised them we would continue to have study guides each week for our two-hour synchronous class, and they could use that for self-study during the week and that I would also use PowerPoints in class to help cover the class material. In summary, this simple technique gave me insight on how to personalize class activities to students' learning preferences. It also communicated to students what the different variety of preferences were, which was valuable. It communicated to students that the instructor valued their preferences listen to their needs, and plan the course to meet these needs. I've used word clouds in many different classes for a variety of reasons. In this course, it was to get feedback in a new course 
I use it often to open a course, therefore building community in the course. I've used it to deal with a crisis when I had a student who created, basically created havoc in a course. We had to kind of reorganize. It helped get the course back on track. And I've used it to establish class behavioral norms when I've had issues with students and incivility in class. In conclusion, word clouds are a valuable tool to summarize the variety of students' preferences and communicate that to them, to communicate to students that I, I value their ideas as an instructor, and to inform students about planned teaching and learning activities in the course.